Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will show you how to use uh, my new item, it's animated frames of shop action. Uh, of course we can create a static image and after when you have finished uh, to create a static image uh, we can add the animation like on this example all examples you can see on my preview page of this item okay good uh, let's start uh, first of course we need to install our action brushes and pattern uh, let's start uh, let's do it go to action panel uh, if you don't see this panel go to window and uh, find action menu and after clicking you will see on right side of photoshop this action panel click on this icon click load action okay good uh, as you see we have uh, two options for uh, static frames uh, first it uh, consists of uh, rectangles and uh, the second option if you want you can create with uh, rounded rectangle and uh, animation first option you can create uh, with in and fade out uh, effect and uh, the second animation with constant random effect uh, let's i will show you it's uh, in and fade out effect and this uh, constant random effect cool uh, go next uh, we need to install our brushes as you see I use new version of Adobe Photoshop uh, CC 2018 uh, go to brushes uh, if you don't see this panel Go to window and find brushes. Uh, what difference uh, from previous version? When you click on this icon, you don't find uh, load brushes. Now we need to load our brushes from preset manager. Don't worry about that. It's pretty easy to use. Just click preset manager. Uh, click load, find your brushes, click open and uh, as you see we have the folders with our frames brushes cool and uh, in this preset manager we can load our patterns click on preset type menu and find patterns uh, click load, find and patterns okay I see my patterns good all tools are installed uh, uh, let's begin work with our image uh, as you see I have two image uh, for creating examples let's start with this a beautiful girl uh, what we need to do with this image before we click play action first we need make sure that we have uh, your layer as background with log for example you open your image and you see these pictures like as you uh, have a um, layer with name layer zero how we can convert uh, this layer to our background with log it's pretty easy just select your layer go to layer menu new and background from uh, layer 
Okay, good. Uh, next, uh, be sure that we have RGB color and AP per channel. Also, uh, my actions um, works only with um, English uh, version of Adobe Photoshop. Uh, go next and final. We need to see uh, on our image size. As you see, I have very big resolution. Uh, I don't need this too much for me and my actions. Uh, anyway, I can apply uh, to my image, but I don't need to do this, and I need uh, resize my image. this resolution and maybe I want to use 72 pixels per inch cool okay my image is ready uh, what we need to do next uh, just create new layer give the name brush without any caps uh, select soft or hard brush as you wish select any color and draw like a circle around the point where you want to see your effect Okay, cool. Uh, let's select uh, our frames. Um, in my in my first case, I want to use my static frames rectangle. Uh, just select and click play. Cool, my image is ready. Uh, let's see rounded rectangle. You can select all created layers and delete. Uh, select your second frames, rounded rectangle, and click play. Cool. Uh, let's see what we can do with this image. Uh, uh, first, of course, if you want to change uh, your image, just double click on Smart Object. Let's put our image inside. Click save. Okay, uh, and we get uh, frames with your image. Just return to back to our image. Cool. Uh, background, uh, what we have in background folder, uh, you can change color or if you want to put your own background, uh, just turn off this layer, turn on this layer and double click on the smart object and put inside your background and click save and close the smart object if you want to work with original background just turn off this uh, uh, 
uh, folder and of course brush layer you can uh, add additional effect uh, for example solid color and play with opacity there is there are a lot of uh, coolest combination uh, you can create with the cloud okay uh, let's back to our folders uh, you have main frames folder of course you can select any frames uh, any pictures and transform uh, on your image and place on any point on your image Okay. Sorry. Main frame. Cool. Uh, texture overlay. Just uh, turn on turn off this layer, play with opacity if you want to add more contrast uh, just turn off this layer turn on, sorry ok, and color adjustment just play with a difference value of uh, each uh, adjustment layer uh, for example main color For example, you can add contrast to your image via yeah, levels. Cool. Cool. And finally, uh, we have 20 ready to use color effects for your image. Cool. I like this one. Uh, when you will finish with your image, uh, place correctly uh, as you like, uh, frames, uh, glitch frames and uh, like glitch strokes, you can add animation. Uh, let's uh, add animation fade, just select your action and click play. The same, uh, you can uh, add constant random effect. Cool. 
Uh, let's see our animation. For this, go to window and find timeline menu. As you see, we have tracks, uh, and we have timeline, and as you see, we have a cool animation. Maybe I want to add original uh, background. Select this layer and uh, reduce the opacity. Oops, no. Oh, yes. Anyway, it looks very good. And maybe a little bit reduce my texture around of my image. Cool. Uh, my image is ready, my animation is ready, let's I will show you how to export uh, to animated GIF format and what best settings we need to use. Go to file, export and click save for web. We need uh, to wait a little bit while Photoshop calculate each frames. It's take some time. This happened because we have uh, a very big resolution for G format and of course we need a little bit of time while Photoshop prepare our G While well, Photoshop calculate frames, let's uh, I mm, I uh, show you. Uh, for example, uh, you can delete all these uh, layers and uh, apply uh, apply action again. Uh, don't forget uh, delete the timeline too. Uh, you select all layers, click delete, uh, go to this icon on the right corner and you will find delete the timeline and you need delete the timeline. After only you can apply uh, action for static frames and after you can add the animation and you uh, in future uh, will not have any errors uh, errors and problems with that okay uh, I need reduce my image size for example 800 pixels uh, as you see I have only three uh, settings adaptive with diffusion uh, with uh, 256 color with G0 100 percent and uh, we select transparency and interlaced and of course very important moment we need to set our looping option from once to forever.
You can forward video uh, and skip this uh, time while the shop create my GIF because I record video and my Photoshop works uh, a little bit uh, lower, slower. Okay, as you see, uh, my animation uh, format is ready. Let's uh, change our looping option uh, from once to forever, and you can click save. Let's see what we have in final. Cool. Very cool. Okay, uh, go to our uh, next image. Let's open. Okay, as you see, I have background is locked. I don't need to do with uh, this. <coughs> uh, let's check our mode. Uh, I have RGB color. Uh, and 8 bits per channel it's correct and go to see our image size as you see I have uh, a smaller size than preview image and I uh, must to increase my resolution uh, my recommendation is that uh, you need uh, to have a minimum uh, 2000 pixels uh, on each side that mean uh, I need to increase height to 2000 okay my result is 70 pixels it's correct it's very good okay click OK go next uh, create layer give, give, give name uh, brush okay brush good uh, select uh, art. I prefer a soft brush. Let's create a circle around my point. Cool. Uh, Let's create rectangle frames. Uh, just select uh, this action and click play. Uh, cool, uh, I can uh, move my frames, let's see, yep, what we can do with this, cool. Mm -hmm. 
cool and let and add a little bit contrast cool um, and add constant random effect animation just select this uh, action and click play We need to wait a little bit while action, create animation, add frames, add uh, keyframes. I'm sure that uh, your action, uh, my action, uh, uh, will uh, work more faster on your computer. Don't worry about that. Okay, my animation is ready. Okay, uh, click play and uh, let's see what we have. Cool effect, wonderful. Okay, and you can go uh, file, export, and save for web uh, legacy. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to contact me via my profile on Graphic River or via email uh, that mentioned in PDF file. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video, my tutorial, and uh, good luck, have a great day!